Imagine a building that's three times the Statue of Liberty. Or better yet, imagine a gigantic crystal that has ripped open the surface of the earth and stands as the tallest building in the United Kingdom. Sounds dramatic, right? That's exactly what the real glass structure boasts of. We are talking about the Shard, the architectural masterpiece that graces the London skyline. This iconic structure is nothing short of being an engineering marvel. Hi, I am Rajesh and welcome back to Novator where we empower AEC professionals like you by bringing in the latest AEC scoop straight from the industry and the experts. And if this is something that hits a chord with you, then take a minute to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now, if you look closely, the structure is covered in huge glass panels. One might assume that the architects have chosen these glasses to make the structure look like a crystal. But you know what? That's not the only case. Watch this video till the end to find out the secret behind the selection of glass as the main element. So let's get started. Chapter 1 The Crystal before we get into the nitty gritty, let's pinpoint the home of the structure. Nestled right in the heart of Southwark, London, the shard stands tall near the London Bridge, perched proudly along the banks of the River Thames, commanding attention from all who pass by. The iconic skyscraper soars high at 310 meters. With over 72 floors, this building offers epic views of the city. The first 26 floors are all about business, your standard office hustle. But if you hop up three levels, you are in the awesome public space, perfect for chilling, checking out cool stuff and grabbing a bite. From floor 34 to 52, you can find a luxurious space with the Shangri-La Hotel, swanky room top-notch service and if you want to live a high life apartments from level 53 to 63 have you covered we find level 68 to 72 sweet gazebo with killer views stretching up to 50 miles on clear days and that's not it the tower keeps climbing to 305 meters with 15 extra floors but unfortunately that's off limits that's where you'll find the tower's super secret radiator cooling system who first thought about it who was the mastermind behind it what's the original inspiration behind it let's find out but wait if you already know about this then pause this video and mention it in the comment section below right now so there used to be another building where the shard stands today in the year 2000, entrepreneur Irwin Seller decided to redevelop Southwark Towers, a 1970s office block that was originally there. Without any delay, he flew to Berlin in March 2000 to meet architect Renzo Piano for lunch and looped him into his vision. Piano was nonetheless the mastermind behind the design, which was inspired by the irregular crystal forms of the nearby river Thames. But if you look at it, he also drew inspiration from various other sources like the spires of London churches and the masts of sailing ships that once crowded the Thames. This is where we will answer the question, why did the architect choose glass panels as the surface material? As the seasons change or the weather shifts, the building's facade lights up with a rainbow of colors, reflecting the city's ever-changing moods. Architect Renzo Piano envisioned reflecting the whole of London on this skyscraper. Yes. With a staggering height like that, everything reflects along the glass panel, adding to the beauty of it. They even thought about how the tower would look against the skyline, like after a rainy day, it's a blue and moody. But come evening, it warms up with the reddish glow. The overall glass-clad facade of the shard is one of its most striking features. Over 11,000 glass panels were used in this construction, an area equivalent to 56,000 square meters, which could cover about 130 basketball courts. That's quite fascinating. His inspiration went beyond merry aesthetics. The shard was designed as a vertical city, a multifunctional space where people could live, work and play, all within its gleaming walls. 
So coming back to the shard's distinctive shape like a giant pointed crystal. It wasn't just for show. Its tapering form reduces wind resistance, making it more stable and efficient. But how did they bring this iconic vision behind the shard to life? This brings us to our next chapter. Chapter 2 From Vision to Reality before the shard could even begin to take shape, a 24-storey office block had to be dismantled piece by piece, with London Bridge Station on one side and Guy's Hospital on the other. The space was tight and the removal of 25,000 tons of concrete and glass had to be meticulously planned to prevent any ground movement that could affect the nearby structures. Engineers conducted extensive analysis of the soil and the soil structure interaction, ensuring that the demolition and subsequent construction wouldn't cause any unwanted heave or settlement. A sophisticated monitoring system was implemented keeping a close eye on nearby structures throughout the process. With the demolition complete, attention turned to laying the groundwork for the shard's towering structure. Massive concrete and steel plunge columns were embedded in the ground, supporting the building as excavation began for the basement levels. For the base, the engineers decided to make a concrete basement providing a sturdy foundation. Structural steel formed the backbone from ground to level 40, offering strength and flexibility, while concrete took over from levels 41 to 69, providing stability and acoustic separation for the hotel and residential accommodations. As the core rose skyward, engineers faced another challenge, controlling sway in the wind. Gusts of up to 100 miles per hour tested the limits of the design and the construction, leading to innovative solutions like the hat truss at level 66 to reduce lateral acceleration. From the office floors at the base to the hotel and residential accommodation, higher up, each section of the building was meticulously planned to optimize space and functionality. Just Thinking about the whole construction process behind this iconic building makes me think, how could I have done it if it had been me? Well, the answer is pretty simple actually. You can too become a part of the next gen civil engineers and build magnificent projects like these with help of Novator's BIM professional course for civil engineers. In just 8 months, master Revit and 10 plus BIM software with industry workflows and get ISO verified project experience, open your doors to new career opportunities and expect higher pay and more. Don't worry, you can check out our course from the description box below. Now, moving on, there's no doubt that the whole construction process faced multiple challenges. Chapter number three, conquering challenges. When no one believed that a structure like the shard could be built from scratch, in the middle of a bustling city with hospitals and metros around the already developed area, it was difficult task to accumulate all the materials needed, then convince the locals and get the men into action. But the engineers proved them all wrong. Turning that extravagant vision into today's reality wasn't easy. It took years of meticulous planning, coordination and collaboration to bring the shard to life. The shard's tapering form required innovative engineering solutions to ensure structural stability while maximizing interior space. Another challenge was its height. At over 1000 feet tall, the shard is susceptible to strong winds and structural stresses. Engineers employed advanced wind tunnel testing and structural analysis to optimize its design and ensure its resilience. Logistics also posed a significant challenge. The construction site was limited in space, surrounded by busy streets and existing buildings. With its towering structure and intricate design, the shard represents a triumph of modern architecture pushing the boundaries of what is possible in urban development. From its inception to the completion, the shard exemplifies the harmonious fusion of vision, innovation and meticulous craftsmanship, leaving an indelible mark on the London skyline and inspiring awe in all who behold it. If you enjoyed this video, I am sure you will enjoy knowing about a building which is inspired by soap bubbles. Check it out now, here. 
and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world's greatest engineering achievements until then let's dare to disrupt